What can I help you with, Chris? I've got some stuff in the bank to get through. Um, I'm just uh, on a designated break, and I just wanted to discuss a couple of things with you. Fire away, Christopher. Fire. It's quite a nice um, segue, actually. Smoking in the staff room. It's illegal now, and with my asthma, I just can't tolerate it. Well, Roger just felt that if we had instructors that smoke, they shouldn't be made to feel like second-class citizens. I see. Um, God hadn't thought about it from their perspective. Well, I'm a Buddhist, and I like to try and see everything from everyone else's perspective. Oh, that sounds exhausting. I suppose we're all just getting used to life without Roger. Yes, of course. It takes a while to get used to things, doesn't it? You must miss him. When did he die? Who? Roger, your husband, Roger. He's not dead. He ran off with a pupil. He lives in Stoke. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, are these pupils even paying any extra for these sessions? Um, well, no. It's, it's selfish, really. I just, I love it when they pass. Um, I mean, you know, you get these learners who come in and they're, they're brimming with confidence and they take ten lessons and then they get a little runaround from daddy when they pass. And uh, don't get me wrong, they deserve it as much as anyone. But, but it's the ones who really struggle that I get, get a kick out of, so to speak. Well, would there be enough space in here? You're not a smoker, then? Oh, I gave up a year ago. Well, if it wasn't uh, too much of an imposition for you, I suppose that would keep everyone happy, then. Fine, thank you. Oh, and you've got another client as well. Uh, Beverly Baldwin, starting Monday, 10 o'clock. Okay, okay, okay. thank you. Bye.